and Pac-Man fires right back. With um, like 13 different yeah. items. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, which one do you want this time? But the Fire Hydrant, I think, is really going to be the deciding factor. Zenodo has an answer to her. Yeah, the Fire Hydrant can actually body block the bananas from Diddy Kong. And since you need to do 13% or more to break it, Banana does like three. So, you know, Diddy Kong actually kind of gets walled out just by having that there. But if he hits it enough times, and depending on the angle, he can actually use it to his own advantage for stage control. Yep. And right now, he does have the Fire Hydrant up, but just as you, as you were saying, he was just hiding behind it, not worried about the banana. But Zenodo does not care at all. Already tacked on 38%. Really creative string there, too. He did back air to forward tilt, but let's talk about Sage. We're talking creativity. He's got footstool combos already. Wow. Off of the spaceship, it was so smooth and unique. But obviously, Zenodo just firing back. He, he definitely seems to be familiar with his matchup. And a beautiful upbeat coming in from Zenodo to just kind of give himself a little bit of space so he can alleviate the pressure. Yeah, Sage taking advantage of the fact that that move is unblockable. So even if you're shielding, he can just run up to you and do the upbeat, and it's going to catch you every time. Also, Zenodo fell into it on the way down, too, showing that maybe he might not know this matchup so well. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he's able to keep getting the back air off every time. I, I didn't know that was a way you could actually punish Pac-Man for choosing that option. Well, Zage trying to get cute with it and catch the key on the rebound. See a lot of Pac-Man players do that, and it's pretty cool, but you can't be going for that in a dire situation against a player like Zenodo. If he's got you off stage, he usually will finish the stock. Yeah, is he going to try it again? No, the banana just interrupting, and Zenodo just having such good stage control right now. Has the banana up, is keeping Zage back against the wall. Okay, Zage using his back turn to Diddy Kong, just throwing out the safe back airs behind the Hydra. He controls so much vertical space. And again, Zenodo coming down with an attack after being hit with Pac-Man's up B. Charge canceling his side B, or into side B from the bonus fruit charge. That's actually a really good tech for Pac-Man. He can use that to go into the Hydrant also when he's above you, fake you out with the charge, and then do any other special. Is he going to be able to convert off it? No, he does not. But he does get some good damage in the setup. That didn't even do anything, but it just scared me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm getting heart palpitations just from seeing Zage throw things all over. And it's been two minutes in, neither of them wanting to do anything too committal because they know this first stock is so important. Zage looks like he's just playing around with the items and then also fighting Zenodo on the side. <laughs> Yo, this is my tech skill. I'll, I'll get into it when I need to. Yeah, his priority is looking as cool as possible, and then also he wants to advance through this bracket. And that back air actually taking it, you don't often see Diddy's back air kill. But at it's 150, pretty strong, man. it's pretty strong. It'll do it. It's fully charged. I don't know if it was necessary. <laughs> And Zage just trying to scare Zenodo with short hop bears and then going into the charge, but he knows better. Zenodo's just get, actually going to rush him down, something I really like seeing Diddy Kong players do instead of just hiding behind the banana or shielding with it in their hand. Zenodo really optimizes his actual fighting with Diddy Kong, and that's something that if you're trying to get good with this character, you need to know both sides of the coin. Definitely. It only gets you so far otherwise. And of you, course, you might get round one pulls, but uh, not round two. Exactly. Oh, great conversion coming in for Zenodo. Down tilt, F tilt, and he takes the item. I love that with the down B pull. Yeah. It sends uh, whatever you're holding out at the same arc as the banana. And then the, or like and a he might have gotten arc. a kill too if it would have connected. So great thought. And Zenodo really just building this lead here, showing why he is one of, if not the best Diddy Kong in the whole business, man. And oh. that does do it. Great conversion right there. If you hit with the inside hitbox of down tilt, you actually can convert that F smash if your opponent doesn't DI properly. So Zenodo, good job of recognizing the situation and getting the early stock. Yeah, one of Zenodo's best attributes as a player is his confirms off of down tilt. He's always going to get something really dangerous off of it. I've seen him with it quite a few times too, of course, but I'm sure as time passes and the meta evolves and his personal play style evolves, he's just going to get even more dangerous off of, I believe, a four-frame poke. It's very fast. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's in the low-end number of frames if it's not exactly four. It's faster than some characters' jab. That's all you need to know. Right. <laughs> a lot of characters' jabs. And Pac-Man's jab, I mean, it's decent, but you're not really going to see him fighting too much at close quarters. As we've seen from Zage already, he's just doing so many tricky things in the keep-away game. So I, I do like the fact he still went to get the key, showing that he's not afraid even though he lost game one and he's playing such a phenomenal player. Yeah, but he might also need to tighten it up and start going for a little bit more solid hand-to-hand -hand combat rather than the gimmicks. Yeah, that's definitely true. It, it seems like Zenodo is a little familiar with it, but somehow those upbeats coming out and giving him his first... A, a slight lead, even though it went away quickly. Sage saying, nah, man, the gimmicks are still good. Just watch. <laughs> I got a couple more. That was only level one. Okay. Sage going to get the Galaga on lock, but Zenodo's ready for it, man. He seems to know this match where at least be figuring it out on the fly. Though there are a few things, of course. Pac-Man is such a tricky character, you're not always going to be ready for everything you can throw at you. Literally. <laughs> 
And Zenodo is definitely displaying confidence and allowing Pac-Man to go to a stage with this much space. It's kind of a call out of saying, I'm so much better than you are at this matchup that you can go to this stage. Right, but is this really uh, working out for Zage on e like either account, you know, the match before the stage? I don't know. He's starting to build this lead back, only 10% down. But Pac-Man, not really a character that's good at chasing you down. He's much better at maintaining a lead than oh, stealing back. Oh, and he's dropped the key, gets the Noto off stage. Is he going to convert? No, it's the Noto taking the key in a very odd exchange. Yeah, I like the little wall he's presenting with the key bouncing and the high back air. Just got to find your way in between that. Zenodo, of course, very crafty with his movement. Diddy Kong's so nimble and hard to hit because he's small, too. And Zenodo just kind of backing up, saying, you know what? You're at 101. You have to come to me at this point. I'll wait until I get a clean opening. Preferably off of a banana is what it looks like. Look at that item play from Zade, man. It looks like he's doing a map problem with, like, a, a <laughs> you know, Y-axis, Z-axis graph. Just Anybody taking calc right now, man? Watch the match. <laughs> yeah. We got you. Study this guy. <laughs> Try to do the uh, the equations for Ledge whatever Trump, he's doing. Does he get anything around. off of it? No. And great job of Zade, kind of covering the ledge trump option with the key. Still such an intense stand down or stare down on his first stock. If Zenodo gets a read on the up that are happening near the edge, he can actually roll to evade the evade jumping and then get an F smash on the way down from a free fall attack. Man, this has been a long stock too. Two and a half minutes down. You usually don't see even a game last that long <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> these but characters, uh, they, you got to play to win. And obviously these characters don't really have the safest confirmed. Diddy does off of a banana, which he almost got it. <laughs> so close. Yeah, Diddy really drives off waiting for that one punish and then getting the easy banana into smash attack. However, Pac-Man, not a character who wants to go near you and give those opportunities. Okay, he's just going to do stuff like that, man, and keep you at bay. That was the longest, like, little trick I've seen in my life. <laughs> oh, and he threw it backwards, too, maybe uh, helping catch a roll in from Zenodo. Didn't give it to him, though, and now we've got Zage offstage. Whoever Bars. gets his first stock is really going to be in a great position. Zenodo almost doing it, but they're having such difficulty getting the killing blow that I can only imagine. Whoever gets that lead, how difficult it's going to be before they get rack up 50, 60 percent on their opponent. And I love that banana block with the back facing to the edge from Zenodo. It covers the jump in and just hanging on ledge, and it can also catch some characters out of their getup. Oh, and he gets it off of the fire hydrant! Phenomenal option right there coming in from Zage. You don't see item play like that every day, folks. That is definitely S-class Pac-Man stuff. No, I've seen it a few times, of course, because we have so many great Pac-Man or a few great Pac-Mans out there. But yeah, Zage really impressing the crowd here. All right, and Zage is obviously going to try to make the most of this. You obviously always want to do it no matter who you are, but it's really important when you have a match that's only two minutes left. And I'd say Zenodo. Yeah, Zenodo definitely the favorite to win this set here, but Zage working on a lead. Oh, and drops it immediately. Either way, he's got a lot to prove here. That was a great wait by Zenodo, too, to, to just kind of sneak that back here out and wait for the defensive option to come through. That angles up forward tilt. It was like, I'm not even trying to hit the Hydrant. I only want to hit you, Diddy Kong. <laughs> and it worked quite well for, uh, for Zage. We might have a timeout on our hands if this match continues at this pace. And Zenodo is just all over him right now. It's crazy because he's not over him like, I'm going to stay on the ground. He's just kind of jumping and waiting and anticipating an option. Now Zenodo starting to use that Hydrant against Zage here. Maybe showing that he has pretty ample control over his projectiles and stage hazards. All right, Zage slightly in the lead here, and even though it's only 8%, and now even only 1%, well... Now, now it's, it's no percent. Either <laughs> way, it still means something when you have that percent lead. Yeah, especially when there's a minute left in the match. I wonder if both these players recognize the situation right now. Zenodo knowing that he could potentially have a game three, which could put him in the losers, which after his performance at CEO, I'm definitely sure he doesn't want to be there. Zage going so deep just to catch the key actually gave up a lot of stage control, and that's not going to be a good thing if you want to seal the deal here on Zenodo. Don't want to let him back you into the corner like he's doing. Yeah, the stage control Zenodo has right now is really what's being the difference in this match. Okay, he's got the key charged up, banana oh. in hand. All the cards are in his favor right now. Oh, and is that enough? No. Okay. Up air, so weak. Oh, but are these you drops? Again? 25 seconds left in this match right now. How's he going to close it? We already saw Zenodo is capable of taking uh -oh. early stocks. The key takes it! It's Zage right now, 1-1 with Zenodo. Definitely the hometown hero, too, as you hear the crowd going wild for, I believe, Maryland's? Yes, um, we always call him MDVA. We, we right. kind of treat our regions once, but he is actually from Maryland. 
But wow, great performance right there. This would be another huge upset following the trend of everything else that's been happening. And I'm wondering where Zenodo went because that was a flat stage. That is kind of Diddy's go-to stage in most situations. And the opposite to go to Battlefield, which is, is smart, you know? Give your opponent a little bit less space to run away from you and have a couple platforms to work with as well. Yeah, and some protection from a Hydrant coming down uh, from the sky. Yeah. It's definitely really important when you're you fighting that on Q. Like <laughs> Did you text it to him? Yo, I'm about to mention the Hydra. Drop it on the platform. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they're mic'd up to us. Cheating. Oh, goes for the dash attack, which is very, very difficult to punish. I watched Zenodo do it once earlier. Look at that. Zage actually taking the banana away from Zenodo by dropping the Hydrant as it was spawning. Super smart. And Diddy has to have a little bit of time on his hands to take that banana out. And of course, it's what propels him to such a high tier in this game. Wow, he actually fell through the fourth bounce of the platform <laughs> or the trampoline. And Zage recognized it through the key. Down 2% right now. But the way that last game went, this says nothing yet. <laughs> okay, Zenodo finally getting a little bit of a lead here. Misses the banana pickup though, and a grab after it. This is very uncharacteristic of him, and pretty much any high level Diddy Kong. That's the easy bread and butter stuff, and Zenodo dropping this here in a matchup he's not very familiar with. Look at the Hydrant pushing him away from the up throw follow up. <laughs> Zenodo might be a little bit tilted here, but he's doing a very good job of keeping himself together. Yeah, he's, he's not displaying it at least on his face, which is always a good sign. Oh, I thought we were gonna see an amazing <laughs> conversion right there. That was gonna be dope. Yeah, like Pac Man's Nair doesn't combo into its own, or into itself. Unless the water pushes you. It's like a plant. <laughs> yeah, I think if Zage had actually just mashed it out, it would have came out. He might have been hesitating, not really sure of the situation. Yeah. And Zage is he, he definitely playing a very defensive style, which Zenodo generally is doing okay with. But it's really interesting to see him put himself without stage control so much against a player who just shines with it. I love how the, the charging fruit actually eats a banana as it gets thrown. That's a really good observation. Yeah. I didn't recognize that. Zenodo trying to act like the water is his friend. Missing the combo, though, off the down tilt because of it. Trying to show Zage that he's not afraid to play his game and maybe try to do it a little bit better. But, of course, with this key on deck and the Hydrant on the field, if they both connect, that's like 30 damage. It is. Like 28, maybe. It's a crazy amount that you don't feel like it should happen. <laughs> right. And if Zenodo is just sitting in shield, charging the peanut gun, waiting to cancel and banana throw. If Zage scouts that, he can actually just power through the peanut after it gets shot and catch those few open frames. Usually Diddy's wall is really tight with that because he can just shield cancel. But uh, if you actually catch him shooting the gun, you can just do a lot of damage to him. All right, in three minutes, 30 seconds left. This is going to be big. Oh, he was, Zenodo was so close to losing that first stock. Yeah, if the bell would have connected. If only he had stood up from the edge. I think that's the option that Zage was looking to cover. But of course, Zenodo not biting here. And Zage is playing so well with his back to the edge. I love it. One of the general rules of Smash is you want to stay away from the edge. You want to have the whole stage to work with. But Zage fights from it so well. Yeah, instead of backing up, he's just Oh, is that it? Oh, oh, he misses the up smash. That, that was huge. He needed that because right now, he's in jeopardy not just losing his stock first, but losing the game off of that. That's what mattered last time. Oh! Okay. Zage, you don't need to show off because you might lose your stock for enough smash no. does come through. Zenodo says, don't play with your food. But I think it was very smart of Zage to actually go for the side B the second time because up air wouldn't have killed like we already saw. And we've got the crowd going nuts for something in the game. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Or maybe like a Pac-Man cosplayer just ran across. <laughs> but either way, we've got Zage barely in a disadvantage here, but taking the stock is not going to be easy. Of course, Pac-Man can't really kill against Shield, being that his grab is so slow. Yeah, and his grab is pretty much why he just lost his last stock. He went for it, which I don't know if that was the best time to do it, you know? You're at kill range, going for a grab. Your opponent is very nimble. Zage showing some very smart ledge stalls here, but Zenodo not really phased by it. He's just going to stay patient. And Zenodo is doing exactly what you should do in this position. He recognizes this match is coming down to the wire time-wise. And now he's just kind of waiting out on everything. He's not forcing anything he doesn't have to do. And yeah, that Hydrant's really kind of proving to be an annoyance for Zenodo. Oh, oh I thought the key was going to come through. Yeah, he was slow on that. But Pac-Man actually can't uh, B-pivot the key, I believe, on the ground. Yeah, so he can't run one way and throw it the other. And I know when he tries to charge it, and he does that, it gets a roll. Oh, that was almost Zage's life right there. It was, and Zage is running out of time right now. If he's going to make something happen, he has to do it very soon. Really dangerous situation here at the edge. Zenodo not just going to get rolled in on for free. All right, he does have the bell. This will at least get a stock, but he still will be down 108. 
and counting at this point because they just, I mean, I'm sorry, Zenodo's just relentless right now. Yeah, it's just way too much work to do at this point. Sage might still have a shot, you never know. Anything can happen. Yeah, especially with Pac-Man, especially a creative one like this. <laughs> and a beautiful wave right there by Zenodo. You know, if he gets to this last stock, he's just going to start bringing out every single trick he knows. Try to get a stock in under a minute, by the way. Yeah. If we haven't noticed that timer, this match has actually felt a lot more fast-paced than the one on Final Destination, even though they both have almost got the time now. All right, in 45 seconds, they need to do Whoa, that the stage. happens? <laughs> but Zenodo still didn't get hit by it. And oh. the up smash does come through. Great Just stuff from both players in. right there. Yeah. It's really intriguing to see the options they went for in, in situations like that. Like, he, he had the setup twice where he could have actually gotten the kill. Just didn't execute it properly. And Zenodo doing exactly what you need to do. That first stock was so important between these matches right here. Whoever yeah. took that first stock won, won the round each time. Yeah, especially in a War of Attrition kind of matchup like Diddy Kong versus Pac-Man. You saw almost go to time twice. Neither of the characters really have much incentive to approach each other. Because yeah. Diddy Kong is a counter approach character. And Pac-Man is the throw things at you from far away character. Yeah. And of course, if he's not going to give Diddy what he's looking for, you can see that stalemate kind of situation. But it looked like even though Pac-Man's power uh, projectiles are much more powerful than Diddy Kong's, that Zenodo was able to control the long range game yeah. pretty fine. He, he, it was kind of a mix between his shield and his banana. He just did just such a good job. And he said, to Zage, you stay at the edge. You right. know? Um, part of that also was the fact that Zage opted to put his back to the edge a lot, which yes. that might have hurt him in this matchup. Yeah, he cornered himself, and that's something you don't want to do in general at all, but especially against Diddy Kong, who can put the banana in your roll distance or just hold on to it and throw it either way out of shield. Have peanuts. Right, and anti-airs really well exactly. with up air. Yeah. Diddy's up air is kind of like Guile's flash kick from Street Fighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then it is. Can, yeah, you could do like short hop up air and double jump away, fair. So much coverage from Diddy at the edge. And when uh, Pac-Man is above Diddy, Diddy is one of the characters that can't actually hit the hydrant on the way down. Yeah. Not everybody has that option. Right. A lot of characters, uh, you know, their up air is not beefy enough to stop that, but yeah. Diddy's will actually just clank it on the way down. So if I'm not mistaken, it looked like I saw another MDBA resident coming up. Yes, Wadi. Yes, he is... He used to be a hidden boss, but the Xanadu stream is very popular, and right. he's no longer a hidden boss. He um, he has defeated, it wasn't like Fatality. I don't think he dropped the game to Fatality when Fatality wasn't in DBA. He defeated Tweak also twice, winner finals oh, and grand finals Why at a PA tweak? tournament. Yes. Oh, wow. I didn't know about that one. I know pretty much uh, the rest of his really nice yeah. wins that he's 